Alright, this is the big guy here. I want to talk about three trailers. Avengers Age of Ultron, which has Ultron going up against the Avengers. And that trailer looks awesome. You got the Hulk Buster armor in there. You have Ultron saying no strings on me. That That is very eerie and creepy. I just love it. And it's just looks like a, a really awesome trailer, especially when you see Captain America's shield all broken. That is really cool. And see Andy Serkis in there. Trailer number two is Jurassic World with Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. And that looks really awesome too. Uh, I really am pumped. This is definitely the way a Jurassic Park sequel should look. The last two Jurassic Park movies were terrible. They were horrible movies and I didn't like either one of them. So I am really pumped for a good Jurassic Park movie and the trailer really looks like it's going to be a good one. And we got the big one, the Star Wars Force Awakens trailer which you can't really see but I am wearing a Star Wars shirt. And I am really pumped for this movie. I was pumped before when I heard everybody that was going to be in this movie. Oscar Isaac, Andy Serkis, Adam Driver, and bringing back Carrie Fisher, Harrison Ford, and Mark Hamill, as well as all the other actors that, uh, that were in the original trilogy coming back. Peter Mayhew, who was Chewbacca. I got his autograph. And Anthony Daniels, and just hearing all this and then seeing the trailer with the guy from Attack the Block in it and Daisy Ridlin, Oscar Isaac is in there. This new Sith Lord with the, the Sith Saber that he has, which looks awesome. <laughs> and the Millennium Falcon comes up and flies off with the TIE Fighters flying after it. That looks fantastic. <laughs> Oh man, am I hyped. Now, yes, these, any one of these three movies could suck. Although I highly doubt the Avengers Age of Ultron will suck. And I highly doubt Star Wars will suck. It's possible that the Jurassic Park movie will suck. Well, who knows. But I am very optimistic about all three of these movies. I am very hyped. I'm definitely going to see all three of these when they come out. So, no doubt about it. I definitely can't wait. And I just love it. And I've already seen hate for the Star Wars trailer uh, from people. And, and there are some fans who actually wanted a reboot. What? Why would you want a reboot of Star Wars? Seriously, the past few reboots that have come out recently have sucked. A lot, a lot of these reboots have sucked. And remakes of old movies like Karate Kid or Footloose. So... All you people who say you want the reboot like, of Star Wars? No! And some of the other things I'm hearing, like they're going to make some spin off movies. Like they're, they're planning on coming out with a, a bounty hunter movie, which that looks awesome. And just a lot of the other things that they've done with Star Wars are really good, like the Rebels animated series. That is really awesome. A hell of a lot better than the, than the Clone Wars animated series. I honestly don't like the Clone Wars animated series. I actually like the Samurai Jack animation of the Clone Wars. That is actually better because it's actually it's straight to the point and the voice work is good. I mean I, I would have liked it even more if the animation was a little bit better and then we get better animation but but the new Clone Wars felt like it was just there just for the sake of prolonging a story without it ever feel like it was going to end or connect to episode 3. It's just like, what's the point? And that new apprentice of Anakin, uh, Ahsoka, I really couldn't connect to her because I knew she was going to die eventually anyway. So what was the point of connecting to her anyway? It's just really stupid and the other Clone Wars with the Samurai Jack animation was much better. So honestly, this is, this new Episode 7 trailer looks really good, and all you people who don't like it, you know you gotta see it anyway, so why are you even giving it any hate? Just, just give it a chance.